software, go to the file folder, drag the data files to the origin software. So I have total five data files and each file open in individual workbook. So we got total five workbook. Now you can go on the left hand side, left hand top corner and click on the new workbook. Here data start from 400 degree C, 500 degree C, 600 degree C, then 700 and then 800. Select the row and column and copy it and paste it to the new workbook. Before you paste it, make sure that your X axis for all the data file is same. In this case is the same. So I'll just go ahead and now select the 500. Now I don't need to select the X because it's the same. So I'll just select the Y column, copy and add a new column. So just click over here, it will add a new column. We need total five different columns. So three, four and five. Paste. So this is 500 is done, then 600, copy, Y column, paste. Then go to 700, copy, Y column, paste. Go to 800, copy, and paste. That's all. Now select all of them. And you can go either in the bottom left corner or you can go to the plot menu and select the line plot. Just click over line plot. And now you can see a graph where all XRD data has been plotted, but they are overlapping with each other. If you go to the bottom left corner, it also shows option for stack line by Y offset. So if you click over, it can stack it vertically. Click the data reader and let's see the data point. So starting from I will choose a book sheet with a 500 point number is 500 and I'll go up to uh, 7500 okay so minimize go back to the right now we have total is 13334 but I just want to select a limited range uh, so here I will start from 7500 okay press the shift select all this and delete it this is I don't want to use in the 2d plot similarly choose one and go down to 500 Sorry, select this one, press shift and then delete. So now we got a limited range. If you go to the right hand side and click on rescale and the shortcut key is Ctrl R, it will rescale it. Now it's become more clear. The same thing, now we will go for the 2D plot. So if you go toward the top left corner, you can see uh, option for the new matrix. So just click over here and it will open a new matrix. Now in the new matrix, right now we can see the total number of columns are 32 and then total number of rows are 32. But in our case, we have total five column and the rows are almost 7,000. Yeah, so total rows are around 7000. But here is a trick because in the 2D, in the 3D plot, your X axis you want to be 2 theta and the Y axis is this will be a temperature at which I have grow the sample. So it's a 400, 500, 600, 700 and 800. I will have total five rows starting from 400, 500, 600, 700 and 800. But I will have total 7000 column uh, intensity of each plot for corresponding 2 theta value. So let's do it. So go to the matrix, click on matrix, set the dimension and the label. So how many column do we have? The number of column will be 7000. 
and how many rows rows will be only five uh, what is the ma uh, map row to the y so y is the temperature so i'll start from 400 degrees c and eight a uh, end at the 800 degrees c about the x i will show you later so click ok so now what we got is five rows and total 7000 column the first column has x axis equal to 16.8 so just copy it and you can drag it to the bottom the last one will be 43 go to the matrix set dimension map column x from where from 16.87 where to end so the ending point is we need to write the same number 43.11793 so this is our mapping column to x and mapping row to y is 400 to 800 now you need to duplicate this worksheet how to do that one you can go to this symbol and just click over here so it will duplicate we don't need the x-axis so right click and delete and then go to the worksheet click on the worksheet and click on the transpose you can choose the open dialog you don't need to do anything just click ok what it will do it will transpose row to column and column to row so now we got the transpose select all these five rows copy go to the matrix and paste it okay now over here you can double check the number to make sure everything is correct so 16.87 is the first two theta and for this one these are the five different values for five different five eight 2674 is the same is a 1910 then 2140 and then 1394 similarly these are the same number over here 5826191394 if you go to the last one in the worksheet go to the last one and you can double check this number with this number they are same so similar is the case over here it's the same now go to the plot section in the plot you can choose counter in the counter color counter now you can just click do not show now this is the 2d plot here is the temperature and this is the 2 theta value so double click on the y-axis scale bar kinetrix inward but i want to see the scale and the value interval is 100 degrees not the 50 so click ok okay similarly you can click on the horizontal and if you want to change some scale you can change over here if you don't want you just keep it the same second thing you can do is double click and write down the the temperature with the degree c if you want to insert the symbol for degree right click and go to the symbol map and you can choose the symbol for the degree is over here and insert and close it if you want to change the font size you can go over here select the text and go and select the font size so 36 for this one i choose 24 okay similarly for y is a 24 and over here you can write down so is a 2 theta so write 2 and in bracket you can write down the degree and you need to choose the symbol right so right click go to the symbol map and choose the symbol theta insert close it again this size need to change to 36 because i prefer to keep the same font size for right and left so that's done now what we can do is double click on this graph this plot and over here you can see a line so there is a black line at particular interval 
so click over here and if you don't want to see this one just show on the major level line click on the hide all okay and apply so this way it will hide the lines then what you can do is go to the label in the label format what is this label label is about this part so i want to change that one uh, okay i keep it 1000 and uh, decimal place i just want to choose zero and i want to divide it by factor of 10000 and apply okay Uh, how about 1000 okay i'll divide it by 1000 and size i would like to choose is 80 okay second thing i will do is now double click on this scale bar and reduce the color bar thickness to say 30 label offset to 20 and apply now you'll see can move from the right and if you don't want this one you can just double click and remove the text copy the graph and, and paste it in the powerpoint or in the word file another way you can do is a file and export graph open dialog so export file format I choose JPG and then the log name is a 3D plot and uh, what else I need uh, where I am to save go to the desktop okay and uh, I choose image setting so DPA resolution you can choose 300 or 600 uh, both are acceptable for research papers, so I prefer 600 and then just